By now, you and people all over the world have yeah. seen the clip of the shark being dragged behind the boat. It is disturbing, and we are not going to show that to you again. Now, if you want to see it, you can go online and look at it for yourself. The video is part of an investigation by Fish and Wildlife. 10 News reporter Isabel Mascarenas explains how it could also be part of a pattern of abuse. There's a picture of beer being poured into a Goliath grouper. There's a video of beer being poured into a hammerhead's gills until it dies. You know, I think this is a, an ongoing situation that likely could have started prior to 2015. That's when Tom McLaughlin, a conservationist who started Save the Tarpon Group, first learned about one of the men believed to be on a speeding boat seen dragging a shark. McLaughlin saw a photo of the man with two tarpons. When they were posted, tarpon were uh, no possession, no harvest species. He started digging deeper and found other disturbing photos with other protected species too, including a white pelican. Posing for it for shock value for social media. There were brown pelicans and spotted eagle rays. You're not supposed to take them out of the water. You're not supposed to handle them. You're definitely not supposed to harm or kill them. McLaughlin turned the photos over to FWC to investigate. At some point, rather than looking at each of these photos as an individual infraction, they need to look at the sum total of what's going on, and I think it results to animal cruelty. FWC closed the case related to those photos back in January without filing any charges. McLaughlin believes there were some clear violations, but proving where they took place stood in the way. I think one of the defenses is that when you're dealing with a crime on the water, a lot of the stuff they're going to say took place in federal waters, which is outside of FWC's jurisdiction. McLaughlin blames the parents for enabling the behavior. We were contacted by the father of one of these guys and asked to, you know, take the post down and try not to direct attention. He was just a kid and this, this was a mistake and he would never do it again. And here we are two years later. With so what's your message to FWC today? At this point, I think looking at the last two years, they need to take action. They need to take action immediately. At this point, you have enough evidence when you look at all of these things as a whole to establish a pattern and potentially rise this to a higher level crime. In Charlotte County, Isabel Mascarenas, 10 News.